stars, simply by accident, are giant factories. To see a star in action, let's imagine I could split one in half. Just as in the soccer ball star, the hydrogen atoms are fusing together, creating helium, which produces the star's energy. But helium is slightly heavier than hydrogen, so it sinks to the center of the star. And now the helium atoms take center stage. As they fuse together, they produce even more energy and form yet another new element, carbon, a vital building block of every living thing. The process repeats itself over and over and the star becomes layered like an onion, a really big onion. The closer to the center, the heavier the elements, like neon, oxygen, and last of all, iron. Now things change. Iron doesn't produce energy when it fuses, so the fire begins to go out. More and more iron builds up in the star's core until almost all the remaining fuel runs out. Now gravity takes over and squashes the star in on itself. As its core gets more and more compressed, its temperature soars until it's over 100 times hotter than the core of our own sun. Finally, the star collapses and explodes. is a supernova. The death of a star and the birth of something new. In these brief microseconds, a massive shockwave passes through the star. The blast is so powerful that it forces some of the iron to fuse into even heavier elements. That's how heavy elements, such as gold, or platinum, or lead, are made, forged in the heart of an exploding star. So if you have a gold ring, make sure you appreciate it. The metal was made in a blinding flash of light billions of years ago. The finale of the process that produced the elements all around us today. It never ceases to amaze me that our bodies are constructed of the stuff of stars. And that our hearts beat because of the energy given off as those materials are made. But as magical as a star is, there are even more fascinating and powerful things in our enormous cosmos. After the Big Bang, the early stars began to form galaxies, which slowly took on a bewildering variety of shapes and sizes. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is thought to be one of the oldest, having started to assemble itself some 13 billion years ago. It's roughly 6,000 billion miles in diameter and contains something like 200 billion individual stars. Nobody's quite sure exactly how many, since they can't all be seen from Earth, and anyway, it would take a long time to count them. 
Because all these stars were built by gravity, you could say gravity's the hero of the universe. After all, it turned a meaningless soup of gas into something of beauty and power.